it's Alex here from Black Sheep IT Consulting and today we start on the Siebel Hub website which of course you know is under siebelhub.com no need to explain that further and I would like to point out that we have well a lot of Siebel CRM training the best in class training, the always up to date training. And how do we achieve the always up to date training guarantee? Of course, we can't record each video every month, uh, re record it for the new features. So, what we do is we keep a page which is down here in this menu, continuous updates, and you find a link in the description of this video. And the continuous updates page has a bit of explanation what goes on here. And then it's a list of tables which are linked from your training modules when you purchase them. So your training module will tell you, okay, your training is on, let's say, 22.2. And here is a list of enhancements and new features that have happened since you purchased the training. So. Uh, I encourage you hereby to go to this free page, it's a public page, and just educate yourself on how many features and enhancements in various Siebel areas Oracle has placed. Uh, these lists start at 22.2 um, and include, for example, web tools and repository features. Uh, new modules that we added to the training like data visualization 22.5, OCI AI integration 22.10. Uh, as you can see, some areas get a lot of attention from Oracle, so there's a lot to learn, like the REST API. And I would like to focus today on the REST API a little bit, since that is almost on a regular basis, every few months or so, there's a major enhancement coming. So it's hard to keep up. Even if you use a modern version of Siebel CRM, your knowledge of the REST API might just be a little bit obsolete, as in you don't know all about the new features. So take a moment to digest this list and at the time of recording, the latest Siebel release is 23.7 and this introduced the CRUD operations on data hierarchies. And this is a short video on the latest and greatest enhancements in the REST API. There is a previous video, you find the link in the description where we talk in detail about the changes in 23.5. So you see the pattern here, I'm making this a little bit of a habit, talking about some selected features. So the CRUD operations on data hierarchies is definitely something we want to look into. So what does CRUD mean? Um, you might not be familiar with that acronym and it sounds a little bit well, strange, it actually stands for create, read, that is also query, update and delete. You could also say curd and it would still mean the same thing. So in 23.7, Oracle has officially sub added support for create, read, update and delete operations on a hierarchy of records, not just individual records, which of course was supported before, and now you can either query an entire hierarchy, which includes the parent record or records and each child or instances of child records and their grandchild records, the children of the children and so forth. And you can do that in a single request. So you can query hierarchies and you can also create or update um, a hierarchy of records, which will be individual inserts and updates, of course, but in one single request. So we start with looking at the read or query or get operation. So get is, of course, the translations into the HTTP request you have to make for query. For query, Oracle provides us with two parameters query parameters that you add to the URL. The first one is called get children, takes a value of all, and that will just simply go through the entire hierarchy exposed by the integration object. That's either, it's 23.7 after all, either dynamically generated or provided 
in the inbound REST API administration or in older versions, it's the base uh, integration object. So get children all will return any instance of any child and grandchild records in the hierarchy that is exposed by the underlying integration object. There is a second parameter which you can use alternatively. It's called query hierarchy. It, the value of it is a JSON string where you can specify the names of the business components you want to query and also the fields you want to get returned and optionally a search spec for each and every business component and a sort spec for each and every business component. So this gives you much more finer grain in your query than the first parameter, get children all. And we will also look into the history, the interesting history of creating or posting or update or putting uh, hierarchical payloads and processing multiple records within a hierarchy during data manipulation, that is insert or update. So here's an example screenshot of a get request that I did in Postman against 23.7. You see that I'm querying for the account business object, account business component. So the primary business component is account and I add the get children all query parameter to the URL. I also add for good measure one of the more interesting parameters, exclude empty fields in response to yes. That does what it says on the tin. It <laughs> excludes empty fields in the response. So my response is only inc including fields which actually have a value. And you can see the first in a list of items is actually the account record. It has one account organization, has one business address, and you can just see the beginning of a list of contacts. And each contact that you can make out in the last line in the screenshot uh, has one or more business addresses. So any instance, if there is any record in any level in the hierarchy, it will be returned with all its fields. That's important. So that will get you a lot of data and you can't specify which business component you want to have exactly. If you want to do that and also which fields you want for each business component, you are probably better off with the query hierarchy query parameter, which takes, as you can see in the screenshots, a JSON string, which if you expand that string, specifies for each and every business component in the hierarchy the list of fields. So for account, for example, for the account business component, we want the name and location field. And we specify a search spec for account name like asterisk om asterisk. So anything with om in the name, followed by the specification for the contact business component. So we indicate that we also want the contact child records of the of any account, if there are any. And for contact, please just give us first name and last name. And there's no search spec or sort spec, which you could also provide, keeping things simple here. So you see the result is fairly different. It still gives you a list of items, all the matching accounts, but for each account, we see only the fields returned that we wanted. And for each contact, we also see the fields returned that we specified, including, of course, the always present ID field. So again, the query hierarchy, query parameter provides you with a much finer grain in specifying what exactly do you want in a response. And the response will be the hierarchy. Um, and that's very much the big difference to 23.6 and earlier, where it was, if you use the data API, it was not possible to get the data hierarchically. You would have to resort to a business service, of course, which then uses an integration object instance and returns the entire instance. That is possible, but it's not our focus here. Now let's talk about upserting. That is insert or update. It works the same way. So I uh, choose upserting or put requests as an example here. On the left hand side, you actually see a request that would work in a version 
prior to 23.7. It would also work, of course, in 23.7. I have verified this since I ran this command against 23.7 as well, against uh, earlier versions. And you will see that the specification, the body of this put request includes a name, location and ID of an account and then a list of contact object, which then has a contact object, which is actually an array of contacts. You see two contacts in the screenshot. So that list of contact was a trick, actually. It was not really documented, but, well, since there is an integration object behind it, it kind of makes sense. In 23.7 and higher, the official CRUD API for hierarchical data allows you to just specify the array of child records or their children uh, by specifying the business component name. So instead of a field name, contact is the name of a business component, then specified as an array of objects, which then each identify one specific contact either as you can see on the screenshot i'm using row ids as the key so that is probably resulting in an update because the row id probably exists if the row id wouldn't exist then it would be an insert but i'm very positive that this is a second request after creating the records maybe so you see the big difference here to earlier versions is just specify a business component name as an array and that's your hierarchy that you can use for put and of course post requests to update or upsert in the case of put your records. And there you have it. A quick look at the 23.7 enhancement CRUD operations for hierarchical data in the Siebel REST API. Thanks for watching, take care and bye bye.